So at this point, we want to transition to the main focus of today's presentation, which is talking about the college application essay. Now, there is a lot of anxiety out there in the world about this college application essay, and we definitely understand that. This is something that we experience each year from applicants who say, what is the secret to an application essay? I have 650 words or less. How do I uh, encompass all of my life within 650 words or less? So we understand that there is high anxiety around this topic quite frequently. So we're hoping to break it down a little bit to give you some helpful tips and some understanding of how do we use the essay uh, within our admission offices and also what types of advice would we have for students when they're considering um, uh, how to write a strong essay. So the first is we wanna talk about what is the role of an essay? So oftentimes some of the anxiety related to the essay is that people are not fully clear how the essay is used in the admissions process. So the first thing we wanna talk about is for the admission office, why do they want the college application essay? Of course, um, in the United States, admission to institutions is not a mathematical formula where it says you plug in these test scores, this examination result, and you receive an admission letter. Instead, universities and colleges across the United States consider multiple aspects of an applicant um, when they're considering them for admission. So both academic and personal qualities as well. The essay is a really great op option for us to get to know you more as a person. At Hamilton, we are always considering two major factors when we're looking at students for admission. First is academic ability. So our courses are challenging. We want to ensure students would be academically successful. But the second is um, the community that we have on our campus. So this means we're very interested in what type of a person you are and what type of a contributor you might be to our campus community. So the essay really gives us an opportunity to hear from you in your words, um, what is unique to you, because each of us is a different person who's complicated with multiple different perspectives. And the essay allows us um, to understand you more on a human level. It also gives us some insight into writing ability. And finally, it's, um, it's a really great way for us to understand the application as a whole. In the United States, we have a saying which says, you miss the forest because of the trees. So you focus on each individual tree, but you do not see the overall picture. So the essay is a way for us to make sure the overall uh, forest of your application, with your extracurriculars, your transcripts, your tests, whatever types of things are involved, the essay ties it all together and gives us a through story and tells us what is the forest as opposed to the overall trees. Now for the student, um, the essay gives you the opportunity to express your own uh, opinion and your own personality through the application period. Sometimes we don't have a lot of choices in terms of which classes we're going to be taking, in terms of what extracurricular activities we have. Um, sometimes things are kind of laid out for us. But the essay is a really great opportunity for you to say, okay, this is something that is important to me and allows you to re uh, represent the best version of yourself to colleges and universities. And again, it gives us an opportunity to place a face to your application and is something that you get to be in full control over. Now, with that said, um, uh, we wanna give you a few tips to start out with. So when you're considering, how should I start writing this essay? Um, we wanna go through a few tips that can be helpful when you're uh, working through your college application essay. The first is that applying to college should be a period of self-reflection. So um, there are, as John mentioned, one of the great things about this group of institutions is it tells you a little bit about the diversity of types of colleges across the United States. The reality is that there are over 4,000 colleges and universities across the United States, and they have a variety of different options and opportunities there, um, which really means that you get the, the option as an applicant to be very choosy and to think to yourself, what type of college or university would be an ideal fit for me? Um, so applying to college in general requires a strong amount of self-reflection. What would be important to you and what type of impression of you do you wish admission officers to receive through your essay? Now this also means that while a lot of people will have advice, they might tell you you should write about this topic. Remember that you should write about a topic that's important to you, not that somebody else tells you should be important to you. Does that make sense? So it requires a certain amount of self-reflection. What's important to you? What type of perspectives do you want a university to have? about you and um, making sure that that is reflected in your essay and you're writing a topic that's true to you, not to somebody else. Now, another topic, another uh, tip that we want to give students is the idea of showing versus telling. Sometimes we'll read an essay and the essay starts with, it was a moonlit night and there was wind rustling over the trees and the mountains and the forest. And it's very uh, descriptive, but it does not tell us about the specific student. So it's very important. This essay should be about you and it should be action focused. So as opposed to describing things in the background around you, we really want to know why is this story, whatever you're 
uh, writing to us. Why is it important to you and what does it tell us about you in terms of progression and growth? Now, the next thing we want to talk about is using your voice. So um, we've been talking about the human elements of application review and how we want to get to know you as a person. Um, so we really want to see your voice. So your essay should sound like something you would say. Um, an example that I use for students is imagine that uh, for some reason your essay was found unaccompanied in a corridor somewhere in your classroom on your school. Would your teacher, would your friends be able to identify from your essay, even if it didn't have your name on it, that yes, this is your essay, it's about you, it sounds like you. Because your essay should reflect your voice, it should sound like you, but of course you on a positive day, right? So a good reflection of yourself, but it should sound genuine to who you are, as opposed to sounding like a topic that someone else picked for you. Um, now we do want you to remember your audience, so the people who will be reading this application essay are going to be admission officers. So it's a good note to make sure that whatever you write is going to be appropriate for admission officers to read. Um, uh, we need to prepare for multiple drafts. So um, when we work through our college application essay, it's not something we complete in one weekend and then we say, okay, done with that, moving on to the other portions of the application. You really want to be reflective and considerate about it and prepare for multiple drafts. Now, um, there's, we're going to have a section at the end about supplemental essays and the role of supplemental essays sometimes, um, but supplemental essays can be a great opportunity to engage further with a college, um, to say a specific college or university to say, this is why you should consider me as a um, candidate for your institution. And with that said, I'm going to turn over to John, who's going to talk about the role of the essay for public institutions. The role of the essay for, the, for public institutions, such as the University of Delaware, it's going to be similar, I think, across the board for all institutions is that really the goal is, is this student who is applying to our school the right fit for the university and can they do the work? So, you know, the university, as we read your essay, we're looking for certain qualities. Is the essay well written? It's an opportunity to learn more about the student and more about your personality. It's an opportunity for us to make a judgment on, you know, will you be able to excel at our university? Um, if you're applying for a t particular major, is writing going to be very important as, as part of that major? So for instance, when you apply for an English major, um, we're obviously going to take into consideration your essay a little bit more. Will the student make a positive impact in the university community? That's another thing we're looking for in your essay. The difference, I think, though, is the importance and the value that each university put on the essay. So each university has a different uh, ranking evaluation system, admission process for each of their uh, applicants and at their schools. So for instance, at a state school where they're getting thousands and thousands and thousands of applications, they're going to put less emphasis on the essay and they're gonna put more emphasis on your grades and your scores. They're gonna weigh your grades and your scores more than they're going to weigh your, weigh your essays. Prior to working at the University of Delaware at my previous university, we required essays, but they absolutely had no factor in the admission decision. We read them, we used them as an opportunity to get to know a little bit more about the student, but they didn't have any impact on an admission decision. At the more selective universities, the essay is obviously gonna be more important. Taking into consideration definitely more of how well written it is, the grammar, the content, everything about it. So that's gonna be your main difference in the importance of the essay when you look at schools. The one thing I will mention about the essay that I think is really, really important, especially at your selective universities, um, is that the essay can be the tiebreaker or the difference between actually being admitted or potentially not being admitted or even being waitlisted at a university. So maybe there's a student who's right on the borderline uh, with their academic uh, performance, their GPA, their scores, but there's something very compelling in their essay, uh, not just the way that it was written, but something about that essay and what that student shares with us that makes us say, this student could be a great fit at our at our university or this student deserves a chance maybe they didn't get off to a great start academically in their high school career but their essay shows growth it shows progression um, so let's give this student a chance even though they may not measure up to the expectations we have in terms of scores and gpa 
Now for private colleges as well, um, we oftentimes have a, a strong focus on seminar style um, and writing intensive courses. So the essay does give us a great first impression of your writing ability, which again allows us to make sure that we are, uh, if we were to admit you, that we're able to uh, offer you the support that would be important to be able to make sure you are successful in your coursework, as uh, oftentimes private institutions have a stronger focus on writing across academic disciplines. So the essay can be very helpful there. It also does fill in the gaps in some portions of our application. So sometimes when we're reviewing an application and at Hamilton College and most private colleges, we are going to review every single thing you send to us. So if you send us all of your letters of recommendation, you send us all of your extracurriculars, extra essays, we will read all of it because we want to get to know you as an applicant. And we know that you spent a lot of time and energy putting your application together. So we want to give you that time and energy in reviewing your application right back. Now, um, it also familiarizes us with your voice. So which means you beyond test scores, beyond examination results. All of us are very complex people with uh, multiple aspects to our personalities, things we can share. And the essay is a great way for us to get to know you as a person. And this really means um, helping us uh, learn about you as a potential community member, uh, where we have a strong focus on community at our campus. So we really want to consider students, um, would they be academically successful, but also what type of contributor would they be on our campus community? And the essay is a great way to, for us to understand some of your motivations and some of your goals and get to know you as a community member as well. Now I'd love to turn over to my colleague, John. So what's my story? Um, most of you, I'm assuming, will apply on the common application. And the common application gives you seven different prompts, seven different questions that you can use. What prompt to select? How do you choose? I, I just use and give the advice that I think as you look through all seven prompts, brainstorm a little bit about each of the prompts, um, jot down ideas, you know, the, the prompt where you have come up with the most ideas that came naturally to you. It's the one where you maybe are most passionate about. It's the one where you had a connection with. And that's obviously one of the things that we're going to be looking for in your essay is that it's about you, that it's genuine, that it's true, that it's real. There's not a right or a wrong answer. This has to be about you, it has to be about what you're comfortable with. So now one of the questions that we always get from students has to do with how much is too much? How much should I share? Do I share personal sensitive information in their essay? You know, do I talk about a learning difference? Do I talk about a mental health issue, a family crisis, family circumstances? Um, and as we mentioned previously, you have to remember your audience, right? You're writing for an admission committee for admission officers. So you wanna be careful in what you share. I mean, you wanna think about, you know, would I share this information uh, with a complete stranger or someone you just met. Um, so you wanna take that into consideration. And what I tend to see is when students write about challenges or obstacles that they have faced, I think sometimes what derails the essay a little bit is that they tend to focus more on the obstacle and the challenge as opposed to what did you do to overcome the challenge? What was the solutions that you put in place and maybe didn't focus as much on you know, your solutions, your growth, or even using the essay as an opportunity to fill in some gaps where maybe you weren't successful or you had a rough patch you know, in your um, high school career. So it's okay to be personal and it's just important that you focus on the progression, the growth, and how you have overcome the challenges instead of making the challenge itself the focus. But I'm sure no matter what prompt you select, you are going to be successful in writing this. And what we're looking for is what can you bring, what experience, what growth will you bring to the college or university you're applying to? And then I think we're gonna move on, essay checklist to go through with you. And I just think before you hit send, Here's some good items, you know, some good recommendations for you. The first thing is, you know, is the essay interesting? 
we're reading thousands of applications in a very short period of time. A lot of applications each day. Sometimes I'll read up to 100 maybe, between 50 and 100 a day on really busy days. So it's important that your essay is interesting. If you don't grab my attention in that first paragraph, I'm still going to read your essay from start to finish, but I'm not gonna be as enthused about it. I'm not going to want to know what's next to learn more about you. Um, so do your best to make them interesting. Make sure it really shows who you are as an individual. Again, you know, you're not trying to write what you think we want to hear. You're writing about you to personalize this so we get to know you. Um, make sure that you're writing about something's important to you. That'll come out in your essay. And again, I think it'll again demonstrate your enthusiasm and demonstrate your personality. That's really, really important. Does the essay demonstrate how you think? Again, don't try to determine how I feel about a particular topic or how you think a university is going to feel about a particular topic. Present your views, present your opinions in your essay. Um, make sure that they're logical, make sure that they're clearly stated. That's important. Obviously follow directions. Um, if it asks for, you know, and we're going to talk about supplemental essays here in a little bit. If it asks for 250 words, stick to the 250 words. Um, so, you know, that's really important. And then most importantly, proofread it. Um, there's spell check and grammar check on our computers and the programs that we use in Word and, and, and Google Docs and everything for a reason. So use those. Um, and I also recommend have a friend read it, have a family member read it, um, you know, just to look over things because maybe they can add some suggestions as well. Um, and then most importantly, you know, again, make a conclusion rather than ending with a summary. It's really important that you conclude that essay, make a final statement about yourself. It's your last selling point, view it that way. Um, and I think those are really, really important, a really, really important checklist um, before you, know, you hit send. And again, just going back to, to what we've mentioned before, you have time, there's still time, you know, I'm confident that, you know, as long as you devote the time, the energy and the passion into doing this, that you're going to have a great essay, regardless of what topic, regardless of what prompt, just put in the effort, just put in the work, and I'm sure it's going to be great. And I'll turn it back over to my colleague. Thank you. Thank you. So we wanted, while well, the topic of this uh, presentation is really about the college application essay in general, we did want to make a note that some colleges and universities will have options for supplemental essays. And we want to talk about those just for a moment as well. So you know what these are. Now, the first thing to realize is where would you find out if a college or university requires a sup or requires or has the option for a supplemental essay? There's two different ways you can find out. The first is you may um, submit an application through the Common Application or the Coalition Application, which are uh, website portals where you can apply to multiple universities or colleges through one application. Um, so for instance, University of Delaware has the option for you to submit a supplemental essay, which you would find listed through common application or through coalition application. So you would be able to submit that along time of your application initially coming into University of Delaware. Hamilton also offers a supplemental essay option, but it's, uh, not, uh, it's not located in the common application or coalition application portal. Uh, application portal. This means um, in, if you wanted to check on the status of your application, has it been reviewed, has it, is it still missing anything, um, we are going to send you login information with specific uh, portal for your application where you can manage it. And there you will also see the option to submit a supplemental essay if you would like. It's uh, not required. Now when colleges and universities offer supplemental essays, um, it's important to note, is it a requirement or is it optional? Now, um, the role of supplemental essays. Uh, so when we talk again about what is the purpose of supplemental essays, um, oftentimes the supplemental essay will be something quite simple. Why do you want to come to University of Delaware? Why do you want to come to Hamilton College? Um, and this gives you an opportunity to demonstrate to us why you are specifically passionate about our college or university. It also gives you an opportunity to enhance your application and is something extra that you have done, which can help to set your application apart in the application review process. Now, um, admissions decisions can be impacted by supplemental essays, meaning it can be a positive attribute for your application. 
it would not be sufficient in itself and the submitting a supplemental essay would not usually be the factor that gets you admitted to a college, but it can be very, very helpful for us in understanding why you would be an, a strong asset to our campus environment. Now a note for advice and supplemental essays, if we say why University of Delaware or why Hamilton College, we don't want you to answer and say, oh, because you have such a beautiful campus. Every college and university across the United States will argue, we have a beautiful campus, we have great buildings. Um, it's kind of a generic uh, co comment, which can apply to a lot of colleges or universities. So instead use that space to say, I'm really interested in University of Delaware because I know it's a land grant institution. It has many research opportunities. It's one of the oldest colleges in the United States. Something specific about University of Delaware or I want to come to Hamilton College because I'm passionate about um, open curriculum or I'm very strongly interested in writing or I'm interested in your semester programs. So try and make it specific to the institution as opposed to saying, I wish to come to your college because it has a beautiful campus because we all think we have beautiful campuses.